New York City Amazon is going back to the future. The Wall Street Journal says the online retail giant will open its first physical store. The location sets near the Empire State Building and Macy's flagship location. In 2012, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos talked about the idea on my PBS program. Are you headed to brick and mortar? You know, I get asked this question a lot, and the answer is we would love to, but only if we can have a truly differentiated idea. We want to do something that's uniquely Amazon, and if we can find that idea, and we haven't found it yet, but if we can find that idea, we would love to open physical stores. Nicholas Thompson is the editor of the New Yorker magazine's website. Welcome. Good to see you. A couple of quick things. One, what's going to be unique about this? We don't know exactly what's going to be unique about it. What's surprising is that they're doing it at all. We suspect they're going to showcase Amazon products. It will probably be some kind of a place where you can pick up stuff. But what's unique is that it's the first big store from Amazon. And you say it's like the arsonist joining the fire department. <laughs> well, the whole point of Amazon is to make it so you don't have to walk down 34th Street during the holiday season, right? Amazon, its entire life, has been putting brick-and-mortar stores out of business, right? Look at bookstores, Midtown Manhattan. Midtown Manhattan used to be crawling with bookstores. They're all pretty much gone now, in large part because of Amazon. Now Amazon is opening a store. So it's very different from what they've traditionally done. But, but Apple stores have been pretty successful, haven't they? A Apple is the rare tech company that has opened stores and had a lot of success with them. I've heard people say, oh, Amazon is a big bully. A, do you feel <laughs> that way? And what's the difference between having a smart business move? Is this a smart business move? And do you see the company as a bully? Well, I think Amazon is a very smart company. It's a very competitive company. I do think it has elements of being a bully. I do think that Amazon gets pleasure from other people's pain. I mean, really? if you look at the memos that came out in the book about Amazon last year, the Brad Stone book, you can see real relish in crushing the publishing industry and crushing other industries. That's part of what Amazon is. On the other hand, Amazon is an amazing company that has got a lot of stuff a lot more cheaply to a lot of people in a very impressive ways. Will this store succeed? It's very complicated, but don't bet against Amazon. What about how it changes the way we shop? I mean, mm -hmm. this is what's really interesting from a business. Andy Dunn, the owner of Bonobos, the online men's clothing yeah. store, says that people that go into his brick and mortar stores, most of them buy online, they spend twice as much when they go into the yeah. store. Is that what they're hoping for? It might be what they're hoping for. We have seen a lot of companies, particularly fashion companies, yeah. where they start online. Warby Porker is a great example. You start yeah. online and then you realize, wait a second, people want glasses and clothes, they want to try them on. So then you open a store yeah. and it helps your business. Amazon may feel sort of the same about its phones and its tablets right? People really need to touch them before they buy them. The phone has not been successful. Maybe having the store will help them. On the other hand, they've had massive efficiencies from just being online. Now they have to, you know, have all these employees in a mm. store and shoplifters and all these and things you don't have to worry about. So. Nicholas, location, location, location. Seems yeah. like they did a good job on that one. Well, good they did. One. It's cheap there. It's yeah. one third the price of what Apple's paying. Very smart. Yeah. <laughs> Always good to see you. Always nice to good. see you, Nicholas.